Hey, welcome back to the Junius Malpe channel. It's been a long time since we've been able to do a stacking video of any kind. And I figured we'll do a little uh, stack video today as we add to uh, some of the metals we got. And just use it as an opportunity to talk about a place that I found has some pretty good deals. And um, we'll also talk about silver because there is some headlines and some information going on about silver that I find interesting and uh, just share with you guys some new thoughts and ideas so let's get right to the cut to the chase here and just get right to the silver edition because I know a lot of you guys are anxious to see it and you know that silver is a pretty rare character here on the Junius Maltby channel I just don't happen to get a lot of it and I don't do a lot of videos on silver probably the biggest most popular video we've ever done on the channel regarding silver has been uh, the topic of it being a currency of exchange for about 7,000 years. Well, I picked up a bar, which a lot of you are probably uh, shocked at because you know I don't, you can see there's not a lot of bars here. I've had bars in the past. I've had some big bars, uh, which I've sold. I used to have a lot of 10 ounce silver bars. And uh, I've since gotten rid of a lot of the bars that I held because I did some exchanges for gold back when the ratio was like 40 to 1. But uh, I've seen these Scottsdale bars before, and I am a sucker for really cool poured bars. I just got to admit, even any gold or silver bar that's got that neat, round, kind of slope, just traditional, old-school, classic poured look to it. You know, it looks like something that could have existed in the 16 or 1700s. It's just a pure bar of silver. It's simple, and uh, they just stamp into it the purity and the weight. This is a hundred gram bar. If I can get it to focus there. Let's see. Can you get it to focus at all? Hands are pretty dry, but anyways, you guys get the idea. It's a nice silver bar. It's got a nice weight to it. About three and a quarter ounces. This one weighed in exactly at a hundred decimal zero eight or a hundred point eight. One hundred point eight grams. Well, the reason I bought it, um, silver's poised to, I think, increase in value. Uh, I think being that the dollar has been very strong lately and silver has just been beat down to levels that we haven't seen for a couple of years now, I've, I've uh, stated on the channel here that I think it's a pretty good buying opportunity for both metals. But being that silver was 16 bucks an ounce, I figured why not? It's a beautiful bar. Uh, I've only recently as in this year found out about these Scottsdale bars and Scottsdale silver just because I've never been one to buy bars such as this and uh, you know typically you see me when I get silver it's going to be in a coin form uh, my favorite being silver eagles and uh, we'll just do a little comparison here mainly because I'm a coin guy I always have been and I like the fact that these are backed by uh, just a known historical reputation. But I do trust, after doing some research and reading, these Scottsdale bars seem very reputable. And uh, one thing I found that was very interesting for those of you that are environmentally conscious out there or green minded is these silver bars and the silver that you get from Scottsdale, a lot of it's reclaimed, recycled. So the silver that's in this bar, the 100 grams of silver, are not typically from a current mining operation. It's more of silver that has been collected from recycled goods, electronics, I mean who knows, it, anywhere that they're getting used equipment or materials that contain silver, they're extracting it and then purifying it, refining it and uh, melting it and assaying it into bulk. So if you're one of those individuals that doesn't like to buy metals uh, because you're against mining and you think mining is a blight on the earth and destroys the planet well then here you go you have an opportunity to stack and save the planet because when you buy from Scottsdale you are basically saving the electronics or the products that this would go, have been inside of from being in a landfill you're supporting recycling and reusing and that's always a good thing right alright so you've seen the new silver bar well where did I get it I've recently been traveling. I just got back. 
I was doing a road trip, traveling around the country a little bit, and seeing some sights, doing some things. Yeah, it's springtime, and I had some errands to run. And I stopped in at this place because I have a friend that owns it. And, uh, well, he's kind of like me. He's a stacker. He's a bug, a gold bug, gold hawk. And uh, there's his information there. If you guys want a really good deal on metals, pause the video and take down this information. His name's Gale, and uh, he runs an incredible little gold and silver exchange slash pawn shop. He's got an incredible amount of metals in there. He had some bars in there that were just unbelievable as far as historical value that he wouldn't sell me. I, I tried to buy one. One of them had uh, some really interesting markings on it and was from a very historical mine. Probably poured sometime turn of the century. But uh, he's got some nice gold nuggets. He's got some neat artifacts, relics from uh, just throughout history. A unbelievable array of coins. If you're looking for particular coins or metals, uh, most likely he can find them and has them locked up somewhere. Uh, if you're looking for gold, you're looking for silver, he's going to give you probably the best deal going around. He's very trustworthy. So you will definitely see comparable or highly competitive pricing on what he's going to charge you for metals compared to a lot of the other online sites. He's not on the internet, so which I... I told him uh, after looking at a store and going through it that he's missing out on a giant customer base. So I told him I'd pitch him here on the channel when I got home and uh, tell you guys, the viewers here on the Junius Malpe channel, about uh, the opportunity to buy metals uh, through his shop. How you would work that out, how it would be done, I do not know. Whether it would be you know, cashier's checks, money orders, um, you know, you really would have to trust him. But, you know, I'd let you guys take uh, take the number down, give him a call, and work something out. See how you would like to uh, do some metal buying through the exchange there. Who knows, if you're on a road trip this summer, or if you live somewhere in the state of Montana or Idaho, or you're driving through it, as I was on a road trip, well then, what I would tell you to do is stop in there and uh, give it a shout and see what they got. Ask to see the coins. They're not, they are not on display out front. He usually has to get them out of a vault and uh, sometimes they're not even in the store. But believe me, he does have access to the metals. can get you metals. And uh, that's where I got this beautiful Scottsdale silver bar just a couple days ago. About two days ago now is when I got it. So there you go. Nice little 100 gram edition. I think when I got it, I think silver was about 54 cents a gram at the time. So I got it for about 54 bucks. Dead spot. You can't beat that. All right. Thanks for being part of the Junior Small P channel. Go ahead and give Gail a shout. Keep stacking your medals and take advantage of this buying opportunity. Um, it's the year 2015. Metals are low. They are definitely a good deal at this time. So jump on it. All right. Take care. Have a great afternoon, great evening. And uh, thanks for all being part of the Junie Smalpy channel. All right.